السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon his beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his companions and all those who follow in their guidance the brothers and sisters, Abu Hanifa al Nu'man and Nu'man ibn Thabit, rahimahullah ta'ala, the great scholar, Al Imam Abu Hanifa, was known for his pioneering the idea of Qiyas, that is uh, analogy. And also, he was known for his, his pioneering the idea of giving a fatwa based on hypotheticals or giving a fatwa for hypotheticals. In fact, this is something that at the time, Many of the scholars that were at his during his era actually criticized him for it. In fact, one of the critics of this idea was Al Imam Malik rahimahullah ta'ala until of course they met later on. So Al Imam Abu Hanifa was known for pioneering Al Qiyas, that is getting a fatwa by way of analogy, comparing one thing to another thing where there was not a clear set example from Al-Quran or Sunnah, or giving a fatwa based on hypotheticals. In fact, this is something that if we were to look at, look at it today, we have so much to thank Al-Imam Abu Hanifa for. One of the hypotheticals that he gave a fatwa for in his time was a man came to him and he asked him, O oh, Imam, if I was to swallow this metal or this silver or whatever it was, coin, would that break my fast if I am fasting? So Al Imam Abu Hanifa didn't just answer the question from one angle. And this tells us about the depth of knowledge that Al Imam Al Nu'man ibn Thabit rahimahullah ta'ala had. It was a, a huge depth of knowledge, my brothers and sisters. Al Imam, he looked at him and he said, If you were to put that coin, if you were to attach this coin to a string and to pass, put it down your throat, into your esophagus, into your stomach, and then pull it back out, it would not break your fast. If, however, you were to just swallow this coin on purpose in the month of Ramadan, or whilst you were fasting, this would break your fast, although it did not provide sustenance or any of the sort. My brothers and sisters, this may be looked at as something, why would, why would Al-Imam Rahimahullah Ta'ala answer such a question? Who would attach a coin to a string and put it down his throat? But this tells us once again, the depth of knowledge of the great Imam Abu Hanifa Rahimahullah. My brothers and sisters, today, in our time, the scholars use this analogy, the analogy of Al-Imam Abu Hanifa Rahimahullah, of the string attached to the coin, to give the verdict, the fatwa on whether the endoscopy, the medical procedure known as endoscopy, where they put a camera down your throat into your stomach, breaks your fast if you are fasting or not. And based on this analogy, the scholars have concluded that this does not break your fast. So my brothers and sisters, we should appreciate the knowledge that was brought forward to us from the previous scholars embrace this knowledge insha'Allah ta'ala and put their knowledge into practice. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.